Hi, I'm Naomi from WP Tofu. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to display a list of users who meet certain criteria using the power of the custom query and the groceries. Let's get started. Sometimes you may want to display a specific type of users like these. And if you can edit user's status like this and update user and come back and refresh. So now you see him here as well. Today, we are going to use Jet Engine and Elementor. But actually, we can do this without Elementor. I'll show you that too. So go to Jet Engine and click Groceries. Then click New Grocery. Next, let's give a name. Seller Rank. Then Data Source. So here you can set items manually or you can actually upload a file. The file can be CSV or JSON file. I'm not gonna go into too detail here. So we'll set this manually. Next, create new field. Field is basically an item in grocery. And we'd like to have two of them. The first one will be setter. And the value is setter. And new field, label is star setter and the value is star underscore setter this can be anything but i'd like to keep this underscore here because it's easier to manage later and this part is checked so basically this shows which one is selected by default i wouldn't check any of that for now and press save next we want to extend the user profile using Jet Engine's Metabox. So go to Metabox and click Add New. And this will be User Settings. Then Metabox for User. And Visibility Condition, so Visible Add. So if you choose just Edit User, only Admin can edit that. But if you put Edit User and Profile, then those user can also edit those information. Let's start adding some fields. So new meta field. And here I'm going to create user rank. And user rank. Object type field is fine. Field type. This is going to be radio. And I don't allow custom one here. And here, get options from the grocery. Click this. Select the grocery, so choose set a rank. And you can just leave it this way. I know there's a vertical and a horizontal, but I think this is fine with, uh, yeah, vertical is fine. And description, filled with 100%, required, yes. And yeah, that's it. And I'm going to add several different fields. For example, like user profile pictures and location, so on. Okay, so I added profile picture, location, and phone. Let's press add meta box here. Now, if you go to users here, and let's click this Allen, then go down, then you see the user settings and items we just added show up here. So let's fill these out for all users. Okay, I added all this information to all users. Next, what we want is to create a custom query. So go to Jet Engine and go to Query Builder. And I press Add a New. And the name, you can put whatever you want, but I would put Setter Rank Query. Well, more like maybe Setter Query. The query type will be User Query, User's Query. Select Miscellaneous tab. And you see number, the maximum return number of results. And this can be set using Jet Engine's listing grid. But this value here will override it. So let's put six here. Also, you can change the order of the results based on this value here. So order by, 
by user post count and order from highest to lowest value. So this means if the user has many posts, they show up first. I know because we can't see the results visually, it's hard to know what we're doing here. But you'll see it soon. Next, click Meta Query here and press Add New. So here, what we want to do is to find the key for the setter rank, then make sure only top setter will be shown. To find the key, let's go back to MetaBox. Here, user rank. So this is the key we are looking for. So user rank. Compare is equal. And now we have to find the value. To find it, you have to go back to groceries and here, star setter. So star underscore setter. Go back here and value is star underscore setter. And the type is character. So select the top one, then add a query. Next, we are going to create a jet engines listings. So click listings, add new. And this is not a post, but a users. Then this is going to be setter listing item and select Elementor for now and click listing item. Okay, next let's go to settings and listing settings. Here you can change this size of this box here because we are going to only make one user section here, one user item, I mean. So this is probably better to make it small. Next, go back to the list of widget, then search for dynamic, then dynamic image. Let's put it here. And it says post thumbnail, but this is going to be the profile picture. Okay, next we are going to add a name. So click this again, search for dynamic field. So add it here. So was not added. Then select metadata and select first name. Yep. And style as you like. We bring to the center and maybe make it a little bit bigger. But eventually this will this size is not the actual size of the item in the listing grid. So yeah, you can just play with it here. So I put 16 pixel. Next, we want to add the rank title. Right click here and duplicate. Here, click first name. Then you see user rank here. So you click. So now change the setter. But look, the first letter is in capital because this is a value, not a label. So we want the label. To get the label, go to filter field output and callback. Choose get label by grocery data. All right, then select setter rank. See, now it says setter. I mean, it was a capital letter. So this is what we want. Okay, now I'll make this a little bit prettier. I kind of made it better. But easier to see this way, right? Okay, then click update. Now we are ready to create a page to show the list of those users. So go to page, add a new, and seller list. And let's use a template uh, Elementor Canvas and save draft and edit with Elementor and search for listing grid, put it here. And listings, we just created one, set a listing item. See, now we see these users, but as you see, there are two star setter and rest is normal setter, but we just only want to show star setter here. So we go down here and the custom query. Then we are going to choose set a query. See now 
only shows star center here. All right, this is what we're expecting, right? Then next, let's try with Gutenberg. So jet engine listings. So here, this is elementors listing. So add a new, well, same thing users. Listing name will be seller listing. Well, item Gutenberg. Then let's select the Gutenberg and create listing item. It's pretty much the same, but let's press press, then search for dynamic image and his post thumbnail, but not profile picture. But here it's gonna be a big one. Then here, press press. Then next is a dynamic field. Then this is meta. Meta key is first name, right? So my name showed up right here, another dynamic field. And this metadata, the key is going to be user rank. Then filter field output, callback, and get label by grocery data. Then groceries uh, set a rank. See, now it's fixed. Okay, so this is all you need, right? For the information. Then click update. So we are going to create a page for Gutenberg as well. So new page. And here you can say, I mean, search for listing grid. Then listing, Gutenberg listing. So now you see here, but of course it shows all the sellers as usual. I mean, just like the last time. So we need to use a custom query here. All right, enable it, then select seller query. Voila, see, this is the same result. Same query and shows the same result for both Gutenberg and Elementor. What did you guys think? The custom query feature and the grocery feature, they are really powerful, aren't they? Thank you for watching.